And this one's going to use the micro servos for the arms, which is fine. I already have the um, M2 um, threaded inserts in there. Again, I don't want really to show you all that again. I, I did that for the little BMO uh, build I did earlier, so you can watch me do more of that. But it is a cramped thing. You really got to get in there. So, but they just go in there like that. Make sure it's flush. And it is, I believe. Horn is centered and do the next one. Ta da! Two servos. Again, we pack a lot of stuff into this little thing. It's kind of fun. So, next, speaker time. Now these are the, that's some standard little 8 ohm 2 watt speakers and I put some double some foam, some craft foam, standard craft foam, with my motivator carpet tape on both sides. And that should allow it to stick both to the speaker and to the uh, enclosure. Now This is sort of new. There is a couple of additional buttons on the back. The reason I added two more buttons was, and this is something I want to do for BMO too, is that I just didn't think there was enough buttons on BMO. Um, there was three in the front, but I always needed a couple more to do other things like close games and things. So I added two to the back panel. Um, it kind of shows up like that. There's two buttons on the back now. Wiring harness, conveniently labeled with corresponding power boost pins. So we'll put this on now. It's going to be a little hard to reach back there. And flip this out. So, buttons, control panel, now we got this uh, three uh, pin cable which will connect the buttons to the Pi, the Pi board. So I'm going to connect the HDMI out on this as well, so that requires this cable. Okay, so this sort of covers it for the main body. Lots of stuff. And it does look pretty Seagull-ish from, from the scrapyard, but 